lot of firsts at the Super Bowl, the first ever cold weather open air arena and the first time ever they bring in one of those big voices from opera to take on the national anthem. ABC's David Muir now with the down to earth and very glamorous Renee Fleming, who is our person of the week. She's the opera star who's about to tackle something different. Renee Fleming is already a huge star on her own turf, the face of the Met, the Metropolitan Opera in New York City. You're breaking a barrier this Sunday. Yes. Never in the history of the Super Bowl have they chosen an opera singer for the national anthem. Jennifer Hudson, Christina Aguilera, mm -hmm. Alicia Keys. Yeah. A lot, of the diva, a lot of the pop divas, exactly. Now the real diva, the yeah. people's diva. The people's diva, thank you, thank you. Do you like that? I, I love it. And it's not just me, she's known as the people's diva. Nearly 25 years now at the Met, performing all over the world. A young girl from upstate New York, raised in Rochester. Her dad conducting there. In fact, both her parents were music teachers. That's Renee right there with the headband. And as the big game now approaches, she knows the pop stars who've come before her. I can't do that. I can't sing like that. I do something different. You do something much different. <laughs> but even for the most talented singers, the Star Spangled Banner is notoriously difficult. She tells us she's been waking up at night, aware of the flubs that have been made before her. Even Christina Aguilera couldn't hit it. That last line is the tough one. Oh, hitting well, the high note. Yeah, but that's what we do. I mean, so the, the singing is the so, least of my worries. <laughs> wait, wait, knock on wood. The high note, the least of her worries. After all, she hits it several nights a week. So you think this year they found yes. someone who actually hits that well, octave? Yeah, well, yeah, we'll do it a few times, actually. <laughs> Intent, intent. <laughs> we like that. You heard it here. <laughs> Tonight, revealing to us how she's saving her voice, now whispering in restaurants in these final hours, and quietly rehearsing the words in her head. And backstage, just watch the other singers when they realize it's her. To the queen, they say. A parting of the sea backstage. They can't wait for her to wow a different crowd Sunday night. I mean, literally, the Super Bowl. I mean, who would have thought it? We'll be watching. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. And so we choose the wonderful Renee Fleming.